Cedar Creek is one of three scenic rivers in Indiana. There's not a lot of development on it. There's a big natural corridor. If you look at any era of aerial photo starting in 1938 to the present, this forested corridor jumps out at you. There's nothing else like it. It shows what can happen when people care about a place. We've lived on Cedar Creek now in this house for about 50 years. And what we call the Cedar Creek Corridor is really an area where Acres has worked for the past 58 years to protect and preserve and enhance and restore natural systems along the creek. The Cedar Creek Corridor actually has quite a bit of complexity with regard to habitat type. Right now we're in a forested floodplain. Upstream of here there's a fin, which is a pretty unique kind of wetland. There are some emergent wetland areas and there are a handful of gravel hill prairies, which are too dry for a lot of plants. So some prairie species these are present on these little pockets of gravel hill prairie. Because there's such a large tract of natural area, what we're seeing is a functional forest, which means that there's a lot of things that live there, things that need big areas of land to roam around in. So you'll see bobcats, you'll see nesting bald eagles, you'll see the pileated woodpeckers, coyote packs, you'll see all these species that need big areas of natural land to call home. So that's really the value of protecting large chunks of land at one spot. We recently did a botanical inventory for one of the properties along Little Cedar Creek and that returned more than 350, probably closer to 400 species. These, these habitats and these ecosystems operate best with their local inhabitants. But, but that's where we as humans, I think, have to act and, and try and fill those roles in order to keep the ecosystem functions and processes going. When we regard land as a commodity belonging to us, we'll abuse it. And when we see it as a community to which we belong, we'll take care of it. People start spending time in a place like this it doesn't take them long to appreciate its qualities. You know, you go on a walk with someone who hasn't been down there, they're amazed. <laughs> That's a, the story of Cedar Creek too, is it wasn't just one group of people who saw value here. It was the native groups that recognized the value of it. There's just this pride of knowing that for hundreds of years, people have recognized the uniqueness and the value of Cedar Creek in its natural state. But I know that we're starting work together as Acres members and as Acres staff members that someone else is gonna finish in 50 years, 100 years, 200 years. And to be able to continue that legacy and actually build and expand on that legacy is paramount to me of why Cedar Creek matters. I want it to be the best possible for my grandkids. This is the largest and cleanest tributary of the St. Joseph River, which is where Fort Wayne gets its water supply out of. If this is allowed to be degraded, the water supply of Fort Wayne will become degraded. So the more we can control, obviously, the cleaner it's going to be and the healthier it's going to be for everybody. I think we all recognize that we're in a unique time with all these plants, with all these animals, because we're seeing what happens when some of the animals disappear, when some of the plants disappear. A quote Will Rogers, they ain't making land anymore, and especially not land like this. Corridors like this are really important for wildlife. And then people, they want a serious trail in a natural area that goes for miles. Well, where else are you gonna put something like that in Allen County? Here. Everything is a surprise. Two years ago, we had five fox kits that were born in this hill out here, running around like little kids. And the owls are by far the most amazing. You'll hear one, and then you'll hear another, and then they start responding to each other. Just fantastic. There's something about going out, and you never know what you're gonna see. I get, I get very, I get choked up about it can't put a price on a wildflower. I didn't really understand how everything fit together and the value of the floodplains 
uh, Acres founders, different conservation partners throughout the state, throughout the country, have really pitched in and seen the value of this area. We owe it to them to keep working on, on the work that they've already started. Together, we did a thousand acres of land in this one area. That's the value of those milestones. It reminds us that the work we do is important and it's big. That's the fun part is we're proud of our success, but we are so eager to do more because there's so much more that can be done within Cedar Creek.